Charlotte Shannon from Creative Chaos in Tennessee, and today I am back with day 25 of 30 Days of Sketches with Christy's Beautiful Life. Today's sketch was designed by Daisy Scraps, a very, very mixed media vibe. Um, I have chosen to do Halloween layout today, and um, my other um challenge to myself this month was to use swap items and so far i've done it but i haven't done it well <laughs> i haven't used as many swaps i know i have i haven't kept track until the end of the month but i know i haven't used as many as i did last month um i am going to use this this is something i made um in the timu video this is from a swap but i don't know who made it and this is from a swap, but I don't know who made it. And then I'm actually using um, these other pieces um, from a collection that I got off of Peachy Cheap as one of the deals. And it is from this Pebbles Spooky um, collection. And it came with the, the gold alphabet foam stickers and the ephemera and the paper pack. Um... And then I am going to use a stamp set that Sean sent me. And um, I thought it, it goes well with it. So, um, that's my plan. I am using a paper, not a paper, uh, a picture. Um, this is, um, of course me and my hubby and my kiddos at Halloween one year when we were still doing themed Halloweens when it was still fun. <laughs> um, this is back in 2012 and um, we had somewhat of a theme going. I was the queen, king, the joker, a knight, and pr two princesses. So, um, that was back in the day whenever it was fun and we could plan our family costumes and now everybody does their own thing if they even dress up. <laughs> so I did mark where my picture's going to go on here because um, as you can see on here, it has a mixed media vibe and then these lines. So I was thinking, you know, this stamp would go really well and then... I think I will um, use a little bit of Distress Oxide ink and some um, watered-down black acrylic paint to do my splatters with. So, um, I am just going to stamp on here. Oh, mercy, my arm. I'm not liking this broke arm stuff, y'all. It's interfering with my crafting. <laughs> can't be having that okay let's see and my picture's gonna be here so I'm just gonna stamp here Ugh, and it totally did not do at all I need to put something down underneath it let me stand up have one of these tools that presses have a little bit of weight it's hard for me to to press down on it because I can't put weight because of my my arm like I said it's interfering with my crafting and for some reason it is not picking up at all on the center of that stamp um okay let's try something else Let's put this underneath here. Somewhat line it back up. Oh, that helped. Okay. Needed the little foam pad underneath there. Okay, let's do the other side. And I'm okay that it's not all lined up and perfect and all that stuff because, you know, it is a Halloween layout. So, let's see here. Okay, okay. Um, let's see. I 
do some second generation. Third. Okay. That's good. That is good for me. Okay. Let's see here. Okay. I'll line it back up and then I'm going to sit down. All right. Now, I am going to take my carved pumpkin distress oxide and just do put it on some packaging. Add just a tiny spritz of water and then just put it down just to give it a little bit of orange color. Sorry if y'all hear my kids in their holler and they're on the video game. Okay, I like that pretty good. I think that's going to be enough of that. And then I'm just going to take some, um, this is just watered down black acrylic paint that I just keep mixed up just so I can splatter with it because I don't have any black sprays. And I totally did not intend on going super mixed media with this, but if the shoe fits, right? <laughs> Maybe I can get some smaller dots. Okay. I like that pretty good. Now, let me wipe it up a little bit because I'll have paint on everything. Okay. Now, um, I normally take and blot this to get some of the um, paint and ink off so that it will... Um, not have dry time, but I'm going to pause and I'm going to let it actually dry and then I'll come back. Okay, now I'm back. Um, it's pretty much dry for the most part, but here's the background we created. We're just a stamp and a little bit of ink. Okay, so... You can see on here, pretty much there's a bunch of different layers. So I've just took a few different um, leftover pieces of um, that pad. This one needs to be trimmed up. But, and I'm just going to layer them in. Let's see here. I don't know exactly how I want to do it, so this is just a playing around. Um, these are directional papers, so they kind of got to go like that. Let's see, I'm going to put my picture here for sure. Um, oh gosh, my arm. Um, don't know, y'all. Let's see. I kind of like that. Um, okay. I think I like it like that. And, let's see here, my swamp pieces, um, since they had, some of these I did put on foam tape already, but some of these, um, not some of these, but how they have like the little um, border down here, I thought that I would take my swap stuff and just kind of create a border down here at the bottom. 
along the way. Maybe. Um, and then these are some of the little ephemera pieces, and it all comes together, but I tore, tore this one off. I thought I would tuck it in here and here. And just add the houses in because um, this was at our house. It was a how we used to have a Halloween party every year and let the kids invite all their friends from school and stuff. And I think I'm gonna put my title here and then put for Halloween party. And I don't know if I'll put the year here or if I'll put it up here. I just took the letters off the other thing and stuck it on here. But I am going to go and glue everything down, and I will be back. All right, y'all. I'm back. I glued everything down. I did decide to put the year up here. Got all my little swap pieces here. Some of them are on foam for dimension. But overall, I am very happy with how it came out. And I feel like this stamp, this stamp set just made the page. Um... It went very well with it, even though it wasn't specifically Halloween themed. It just had that mixed media feel to it. So thank you, Sean, for that stamp set. Um, thank you, Daisy, for designing this sketch. I really liked it. Um, and I'm sure that I will probably more than likely use it again at some point. Um, and I will post the link below. I will post close-ups at the end and until tomorrow. And I think this layout finally catches me up. So, yay. So, until tomorrow. Bye, y'all.